this week on Jimbo Vision, Victoria. Hello, yes, it's a UK release at last for one of the most intriguing films in years. The story is of a Spanish girl and the drama that she's drawn into in pre-dawn Berlin. Victoria lasts just under two and a half eventful hours, and in that time, as Jimmy B. Rabbit said, you only get one shot. A single, continuous 130-minute take. Now, ever since Touch of Evil, when the entire opening scene rolled by while Orson Welles went out for dinner, the long single take has been a yardstick for ambitious directing. Scorsese had his in Goodfellas, that three minute plus of Henry Hill entering the Copacabana, all as cutlass as the contents of a pirate scabbard. Robert Altman then spoofed the technique in his opening to the player, but still made sure to make it a full eight minutes long. And recently, Inarito and his Deepu Lubezki managed to whittle even further up the wall with Birdman, which seemed to be seamless, but wasn't. Now, while a lot of these felt like Helmsman popping a cinematic wheelie, Victoria is an entirely different kind of achievement. Here, this single fluid take renders the story alive and immersive in a way that would have been impossible, surely, had it gone through an editing suite. It's a story stripped of artifice, of any layer between the action and the audience. Director Sebastian Schipper described making this film as a bit like a tightrope act or robbing a bank. Basically, it was a long shot in every sense, which makes it remarkable, given the extraordinary precision needed from everyone, just how natural and effortless the finished product feels. Credit goes to the cast, in particular Laia Costa as the movie's eponymous heroine, the, if you will, Victoria Principal, and Frederick Lau as a charming rogue, the unruly Sonna. Above all, though, credit goes to Shipper's cameraman, Stirler Brands Grovlin, shooting from 4.30 a.m. to just before 7, with a largely improvised script moving in and out of cars, lifts, garages, shops, shifting perspective, and never once, as far as I could see, straying into shot or losing the framing. Technically, Victoria is a 10 out of 10. As a story, it possibly does drop a mark or two along the way, though. Some find the plot a little bit hard to swallow, given the short space of time it's compressed into. But again, it's a testament to the cast, just how natural it feels. Perhaps, if anything, the movie feels a little long. As in any all-nighter, there's moments when you definitely feel yourself start to flag and you think, well, maybe a cut wouldn't be such a bad idea after all. I certainly like them. But the last hour makes it all worthwhile. Victoria is a unique film, from the adrenaline of the night to the grey reality of the dawn after. It's an experience so real that, as one reviewer put it, you come out of the cinema looking for your breakfast. And of course, in terms of the extended take, well, it's hard to know how anyone can beat this now, given that it uses just one shot. Although, wouldn't mind seeing Adam Sandler having a go. Victoria gets an 8 out of 10 from Jimbo Vision. Well worth seeing.